Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And if you are a content creator, this is the talking station for you. And not only content creators, but it is designed in mind for content creators, which are people that are enthusiasts and they want the best out of their hardware. Now, this is the new or the latest Sabrent docking station, which besides everything that it has on the outside in terms of connectivity, it has also storage on the inside, which is just awesome. And in terms of build quality, it follows the line of Sabrent, which is top-notch quality, both on the outside and also on the inside because the first thing that I did when I did receive it I did a full unboxing including unboxing the unit itself it's just beautiful I will share a few images with you guys right over there outside is a full brushed aluminium enclosure with this awesome dark space gray which looks really really awesome and when we open it up which reveals that we can upgrade in the future if we want to so it's not locked we can replace the ssds for bigger capacity if we want down the line and just take a look at the two nvmes right over there with a crazy big heat dissipator which will act to uh, cool down the SSDs in case you push them really, really hard. So I did love to see the unit on the inside and also on the outside. Really complete, great build quality. In terms of the unboxing experience, I will leave towards the end of the video, just if you want to check that part. Now, in terms of connectivity, we have here at the front the audio input and audio output. We also have a SD card slot, UHS which will give us speeds up to 270 megabytes per second reads and on writes but I do have a bottleneck which I will share with you in just a few moments we will also find a USB 3.2 generation 1 5 gigabits and a USB 3.2 generation 2 10 gigabits on the back we will have two Thunderbolt connections one with power delivery up to 96 watts and the other one for a daisy chain option. I will give you a few examples in just a few moments. We'll have also two USB type A 3.2 generation 2 10 gigabits and one generation 1 5 gigabits. Display ports up to 60 hertz, power input and a gigabit ethernet connection. So the question is, do you really need anything else besides the connectivity and the storage inside? I don't think so. In terms of power delivery, I did test out with my MacBook Pro and we will charge as we would with a really good power adapter, like the one that comes from Apple. In terms of the speeds that we will get on the SSDs, as you guys know, I would not be able to do a video a review without testing out the speeds and we will have great speeds right over here. I did test out on single disk mode, which is what we get when we purchase it and you will get roughly 1300 1500 megabytes per second reads and on writes which is just awesome if you want to edit videos if you want to do any kind of task that will push through the ssds we are getting crazy speed so you will not have any bottlenecks nonetheless i also did test out on raid zero and we got roughly 2000 megabytes per second reads and on writes which is crazy speeds but i would suggest not to use on raid zero because it's dangerous if we lose one of the disks and we will lose all the data now these tests were really interesting but i did another one which i found to be more interesting what i did was to test out both disks at the same time and what we will get right over there is 1300 to 1500 megabytes per second reads and non writes at the same time on both disks so we are talking about 2600 up to 3000 megabytes per second that the Sabrent docking station is accepting and writing to both disks and this is a great scenario in case we want to copy and paste several big files and some files to one disk some files to another disk you will not be limited by the 1500 megabytes you will be on the area of the 3000 megabytes which is something really really awesome now talking about these many megabytes let's talk about the daisy chain capability which was something that i also tested out and i did use a sabrent rocket extreme q 
is a really fast external SSD and what we got right over here were exactly the native speeds that we have reaching 1400 megabytes per second on writes and roughly 2500 megabytes per second on reads so this is the cool thing on the daisy chain right over here we will be able to daisy chain multiple devices and ssds without any bottleneck whatsoever now, talking about bottlenecks, I do have one, but it's not with the docking station. My bottleneck, and I will try to do another video in a few days or in a few weeks, because my bottleneck is on my SD card. Now, I do have one of these normal SD card readers, and it reaches roughly 80, 90 megabytes per second on reads and on writes which is basically the maximum of my SD card. So this just means that doesn't matter if the Sabre docking station is faster or not, and it reaches 270 megabytes per second on reads and on writes, but my SD card is just not fast enough. So my problem is right over here, and I will solve it as soon as possible, and I will get back to the docking station to test that out which is something that i'm really curious especially now that i did move from 1080 to 4k so the files are getting bigger the projects are bigger and bigger so i would love to have the full potential of the docking station which instead of copying 40 gigabytes uh, in seven minutes as i do right now with the normal sd card that i've got right over here if I do use the full potential of the docking station, I will, instead of spending 7 minutes for the same 43 uh, gigabytes, I will only spend roughly 2 minutes and a half, more or less, and that is an awesome experience. Now, an awesome experience as well was to connect the display port to ex external display. I did use the new Philips Momentum 3000, which I'm reviewing, and although the display will go up to 165 hertz, I was able to connect up to 60 hertz. And this is one of the nice scenarios, which is to have the docking station near our display, keyboard, mouse, and so on and so forth. And then with a single cable, I can connect to the docking station. I will have the display. I will have my daisy chain devices. I will have keyboards, mouse. I will will have the storage. So I will have all my setup ready to be used. Just out of curiosity, this is the audio that we can record using the Sabrent docking station with a lapel microphone, which is the one that I use on every single video connected to a dedicated recorder. Now, is the audio good or not? You let me know down below on the comment section. So far, I've used quite a few docking stations to improve my workflow, but this one is the most complete so far that I've used. And in terms of build quality, the best as well, because in terms of materials, and if you follow the channel, I did test out quite a few Sabrent devices, all of them top notch in terms of build quality, more or less like we have on Apple devices. And that is it. Hope that this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.